Today we're going to be working in Blender 2.5 beta, actually it's 2.56, and we're going to be looking at creating um, cheat codes for your Blender games. So first thing, since this is a game project, we're going to come up here where it says uh, Blender Render and change this to Blender Game. And under here where it says default, we'll click on here and set up our game logic window. By default we have a cube here. And uh, the cube will be what accepts all our cheat codes, uh, but normally you want to attach your cheat codes to something that's always present in the game, like your camera or your player, unless the cheat code is going to affect a particular object. So anyway, just for tutorial uses, we'll uh, select the cube here, and we'll click Add Sensor, and we'll go Keyboard Sensor. So, now we need to figure out... Um, how are we going to get it to something to happen when we type a certain phrase on the keyboard? Um, and uh, we've done in the past where you can select and do one key of something, but uh, we're going to do all keys because this will be a phrase. And then we have this toggle log here. And we need to set something to catch this toggle log. Uh, so we're going to add a property, and we'll just call this... Um, keys or even cheat or whatever you want to call it and we're going to make it a string so now we'll also click this little I right here and what this I does is it allows when you have debugging mode on in your game it will display the value of that property so now that we have that set we don't have to connect this to anything in fact we can minimize it oh I'm sorry we have to click log toggle and choose keys and set the target to keys and we'll minimize that and I'll come up here to game and I'll be sure that I have show debugging properties and that way we'll be able to see the value of keys and if I hover over the 3D window here and hit P now you can see up in the top corner here I can't point with my mouse because it's not on the screen but the top corner of the 3D window it says cube which is our object and dot keys which is its property equals and it's blank right now but if I start typing on the keyboard you can see that whatever I type comes up so I'll hit escape to get out of that. Now we need to make that do something. So we'll add a property sensor and we'll say property keys and we'll say whenever keys equals spin and we'll add a controller and we'll add a motion here. We'll click here and connect here. So whenever the property keys for the cube equals spin, what do we want to happen? And we'll just click uh, the z-axis, we'll rotate on the z-axis. I'll hit P to start our game, and I can type spin, and you can see while that equals spin, it starts spinning. You also notice if I keep on typing, it will stop spinning because that no longer equals spin. If I hit escape and start the game up again, and you'll notice if I press other keys, so let's say uh, we have it set to uh, w is my forward key. If I'm holding down W to move my character around, maybe I'll hit A to go to the left and S to go to, or D to go to the right. Now if I type spin, it doesn't work because it already says something before spin. So how can we handle that? Well, uh, basically you can set all your cheat codes to start with a certain key. So we'll come back here and what we'll do is, um, actually we won't go back there. We'll create another keyboard sensor here, and we'll say all key, not all keys, I'm tired today. Click here, and let's say, we'll just say anytime you type in a cheat code, you're going to start with F9. So you press F9, and we'll add a controller here and, and an actuator, and the actuator will be a property, and the property will be keys, and we'll connect these. And then in value, we'll do two quotations. And what will happen now is we'll hit P up here to start playing our game. So we're playing, we're hitting all these different keys. Now I want to type in my cheat code. I can hit F9, and you see it clears it out, and then I can type spin. And of course, that value at the top of the screen is a debug value. The people won't actually see that while they're playing the game. So they just know, oh, to enter a cheat code, I hit F9. Another option is instead of F9, 
you could also just do a letter and make all your characters or all your cheat codes start with the same letter. And instead of blanking this out, we can make this an I as well. So if I hover up here and I hit P, I can start typing. And anytime I hit I, it sets the value to I and I can keep typing. So what we can do then, if you're old school like me, uh, you can change property here. Instead of spin, you can make it something like IDFA. And now if I come up here and I press P, I can press, I can start typing, I hit IDFA and it starts spinning. Still have the problem of if I start typing again, it stops spinning. Now, maybe you want that to happen. Once another key is hit, it stops. But then again, maybe you don't. So another option would be is instead of when this equals uh, uh, IDFA spin, what we can do is we can delete that and we can add another property here and we'll give it another property and we'll call this one uh, God mode. Let's pull this out a little bit so you can see it better. So it's called God mode and we'll make it a integer. And uh, what we'll do now, actually it doesn't have to be an integer, it can be a string as well. Uh, and we'll say God mode and we'll say off. So God mode is off at this point. But when you type ID, let's see, ID QD, you can now connect this down here. And we can assign to God mode, we can set God mode on. And we can come up here and hit P. And uh, oh, well, let's make this visible as well. We'll click this I here. So we're playing the game, we're hitting all these different keys. You can see God mode is off. If I type in IDQD, hey, oh, it says on not found. Don't forget your quotations down here. I'm not messing up too bad today, am I? Okay, P up here. We're hitting all these different keys, playing our game. You can see God mode is off. If I hit IDQD, and that God mode is now on. Um, and as far as something like the spin, you can also set um, another property value over here, property, and uh, we can say when God mode is on, what do we want to do? We'll connect this to here and we'll say motion. Let's minimize these. Connect this to here and this to here and we'll click rotate. So when God mode equals on and it is case sensitive so make sure you type it how you want and once again don't forget the quotations like I did earlier hover up here hit P playing a game hit all these different keys God mode is off if it ID QD God mode is on and it should have started spinning but it didn't why didn't it start spinning let's turn on pulse pulse mode right here that little icon right there click that ID QD still not on what am I doing wrong when God mode equals on Okay, time to troubleshoot. That is no problem. Let's try, let's try something else. Let's add a property here. We'll go integer. Yeah, forgive me, I'm working on three hours of sleep and that's why I'm not thinking straight today. Uh, we'll just say, we'll call this one spin. So spin is zero now, which basically means off. We'll set this to spin when spin equals one, then we'll rotate. And uh, I think we need to leave pulse mode on there, that first little icon there. And we'll change this. We'll add another, a different cheat code. So we still have God mode IDQD will turn God mode on, which really doesn't do anything now, but you can set it to do something in your game, like make your player invincible. Uh, we'll add a, another keyboard here similar to this one right here what am i doing oh i'm just messing up like crazy today um <laughs> here we go so we actually want properties properties when keys equal um and we'll just say once again idfa like we did earlier 
connect here. And we'll add an actuator. We'll say uh, property right here. So when you type IDFA, what are we going to do? We're going to set spin equal to 1. It's an integer. We don't need any quotations there. Here, when spin equals 1, it should start rotating. So we'll come up here. We'll hit P. I will type in IDFA, and it starts spinning. And if I keep on typing, it doesn't matter because that value is now always true. Now you can set another property to make it untrue. But you can see no matter what, the key is equal. It will continue sp spinning because spin equals 1 now. We'll make spin visible. And I'll say blah, 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 IDFA. It will start spinning because spin equals 1. And spin will equal 1 until you're somewhere along the line you make it not equal to 1. And once again, even if I have all this, I can hit IDQD and God mode is on now. So I'm sorry for the little bit of mess ups today, but I hope I explained this well. There is a sample file. Uh, there's a link in the description uh, to basically the same concept uh, along with some uh, instructions. And uh, so go ahead, give it a try for yourself. Download uh, the sample file that's in the description. It's the, the first link in the description. And um, I hope that you have a great day. And please visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. And I hope that you have a great day.